Hey guys, it's time to get inspired for your gender reveal. Yeah, as of this morning, we've been a part of over 150,000 gender reveals. And that got us talking about the R&D and all the fun photo shoots that got us to this point. Yeah, like the rainbow baby shoot, um, the shoot out front with six cannons, the shoot on the side of the house with two cannons, and even the 50 cannon shoot for our gender reveal. <laughs> What about that time we shot off all the designer collections in our living room? Oh my gosh, the cleanup <laughs> was insane. But we've had a lot of fun developing these cannons and doing these photo shoots and we wanted to share them with you guys. To help inspire and help you make the best decision for your gender reveal. Yeah, so let's jump into these. Oh, I love how the powder fills the sky. Yeah, in this shoot you can really see the difference in cannon sizes. The 32 inch and even the 24 inch are just so much fuller. Mm -hmm. Going big on powder is a must especially when it comes to like color and duration. I love this shoe. Confetti is so much fun. Right? But confetti by itself doesn't really do the trick. As you can see with the guys on the end, only shooting 12 inch confetti cannons, it sort of disappears in the background. I really like that the confetti flutters down. Yeah, and it adds a cool look with the powder as the background. I can't get over the flutter time of these 32 inch cannons. I know, and we're speeding it up here. So our takeaways from this shoot are Don't skimp on powder or it'll blow right away as seen with cheap Amazon cannons. Adding confetti makes for a more dynamic color and adds fun flutter. 32 inch cannons give off three times the contents of our 12 and six times that of the cheap Amazon knockoffs. Here's another shoot from that day. It's crazy how high the streamers go. Yeah, over 60 feet. We designed them that way so we could put 20 foot streamers in them. Oh, and I probably should introduce these guys. They're gonna be showing up a lot in the videos. So we got my dad, my brother, and our good friend Zeke and Austin on the end. I could see just taking it all in. <laughs> so after this photo shoot, we changed all our practice cannons to white powder so you wouldn't have all this confetti laying on the ground taking away from your moment. So the key takeaways from this shoot are Confetti streamers shoot 60 feet in the air. Practice cannons are now used with white powder so they won't leave any residue. And Poof There It Is is a family company. This one is my favorite because it's our gender reveal. Yeah, and we spaced out our guests in more of a grid pattern rather than your basic line to create more depth. And we used powder, powder confetti, and confetti streamers. We use 32 inch cannons because they shoot a lot higher, which gives our photographer more time to get that initial picture. Then change out cameras, grab the video camera, run and shoot some slow motion close-ups that really helped her capture the moment. We have a very fun video talking all about how to capture your gender reveal moment. Just click on the icon button to watch for a more in-depth look. Yep, so the takeaways from this shoot are you can do line or you can do grid patterns. Mixing different cannon styles creates a very cool look and a 32 gives you more time for more photos and videos. Not everyone is going to do the big reveal and they could choose to only use two cannons. So we did this shoot on the side of our warehouse, which is really just our garage. And the white brick really lets you see each cannon style in action. And then we started shooting off different cannon color combinations uh, in order to create cool custom looks that people do for their theme gender reveals. Like blue and red for 4th of July and our favorite, red and green for Christmas. Whether you're doing the Grinch theme like we did, or Mr. and Mrs. Claus. You were having too much fun at that shoot. What can I say? I love Christmas. <laughs> and the takeaways from this photo shoot are that sometimes two cannons can create just as big feel as the people that use tons. And getting creative with color combinations can make for a really cool themed reveal. Yeah. We even did a rainbow themed shoot for our rainbow baby. Mm. A rainbow baby is a baby born after a miscarriage, a stillborn, or a neonatal death. It is called a rainbow baby because it is like a rainbow after a storm. Something beautiful after something scary and dark. So speaking of matching colors with your theme, let's talk about our three designer collections. So we have the Posh Collection, which is your trendy navy blue and blush pink. And the Venice Collection, which is your light and airy pastel blues, mint, and peaches. 
and our Poof Collection, which is a diverse combination of pinks and blues. All of these collections have the confetti cut into circles rather than slips for a little classier look. And one thing we really like with these color combinations is that they can match the decor of your party to create a designer look and pictures. Yeah, and the takeaways from this photo shoot are... You can shoot them up or directly at the camera. Coordinate your color palette with your style. So if it's trendy, you can go with the posh, or if it's more the classic look, you can go with the poof, or if you want that light and airy feel, you go with the Venice. And again, this can match your decor. We spent a lot of time developing these cannons with you guys in mind. We even created a four part series on them and you can click right there to watch. Yep. Uh, we had a lot of fun with these photo shoots and we hope it helps with your gender reveal. So hit that thumbs up button if you want us to keep making more of these videos. Yeah, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted the next time we release a video helping people with their gender reveals. And as always, head on over to our Instagram to join our community of over 30,000 followers and you can find a lot more inspiration from their pictures and videos using Poof There It Is reveals. Yeah, definitely. And Tori is 39 weeks pregnant, still willing to get on camera and shoot these videos helping you guys with your gender reveals. So leave her a comment down showing your support and we are really excited to announce the little guy next week. So till then, see you guys. For your gender reveal. <laughs> you took my line. Cool. You killed it. I think we should try one more time. Okay. Till then, see you guys. Good? I think we should do it one more time. Okay. <laughs> see ya. Good? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. It wasn't recording. Wasn't recording. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, these photo shoots were. Mia, stop snoring. <laughs> you want to carry it? <gasps> um, and you can click right up here to watch. Uh, yeah. It's like pointing back there. Yeah, you're pointing. <laughs> them and you can click right up there to watch. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with these photo shoots and we hope they helped with, I can see the pool guy walking, it distracted me. <laughs> we spent a lot of time developing Hold these. Up. Where is he going? Sorry. We spent a lot of time develop, <laughs> you distracted me. <laughs> to that point. Yeah, it's been, uh, nope, messed up my life. We're doing good though. Yeah, I think it's getting better.